Hi, I'm Shamar Christian, and I'm a Power Module Applications Engineer here at Wolfspeed. In this video, we'll be showing you how to begin installing and using our LT Spice models for our silicon carbide power modules. LT Spice is a circuit level simulation solver, meaning that it calculates the interactions of all circuit components in small time steps. For power electronics, LT Spice can be used to provide an efficient and cost effective method to design or optimize your systems without the need for a physical prototype or measurement equipment. With LT Spice, you can estimate switching losses at specific operating conditions, determine how parasitic elements will influence switching and overshoots, analyze the behavior of converters and inverters, approximate survival time of a device during surge events, design or optimize filters for electromagnetic compatibility, and more. LT Spice can be used for long simulations that involve thermal heat transfer or closed loop controllers, but as a designer, you will need to be strategic about how you simplify your simulations. In some cases, it may be more suitable to check out the Plex models on our website for thermal analysis. Now, let's show you exactly how to install our Wolfspeed models. First, make sure you have the newest version of LT Spice installed by going to analog.com. Next, navigate to our website at wolfspeed.com and click on LT Spice and Plex models under Tools and Support. Then, Download the All LT Spice Models zip file. Unzip the downloaded file and you'll see some folders for different model types. Although Wolfspeed also offers LT Spice models for discrete components, we're focused on power modules for this tutorial. So, navigate to the modules folder. You will note that each subfolder here indicates the software that the models are compatible with. While they all operate the same, they do each have minor differences in syntax and structure. There is also a userguide.pdf file. Please feel free to check out this user guide for more tips and tricks on using the models. Today, we'll only be utilizing the LT Spice folder, so let's open that up. Inside the Example Circuits folder, you'll find example reference circuits that you can use to jumpstart your simulation needs. There are multiple circuits that differ across topologies. Inside the models folder, you'll find several different file types. And please keep in mind that the contents of that folder may look different as we add new devices and update models in the future. The .lib files store all of the information you need for the models to operate. These are separated by topology. Here, for instance, you can see .lib files for half-bridge, full-bridge, and six-pack Wolfspeed devices. The .asy files are the LT Spice symbols that allow you to place the model into your circuit. Between each topology, the symbols are identical, so be sure to reference the appropriate module in the library file. Next, select a location on your hard drive to store the model files. Now copy over the .lib and .asy model files to your new folder, and then be sure to delete the original model files. This will help prevent any confusion about which files are being referenced later. Next, open up LT Spice and click on Tools and then Control Panel. In the open window, click on Sim and Lib Search Paths. For both the symbol search path and the library search path, enter the path to your new folder. Press OK. To verify that the models were installed correctly, open up a new schematic and press the component button. On the top directory, click on the drop down arrow and select the folder you added earlier. You should now see a list of module models that can be placed into your schematic. If you don't, try restarting LT Spice, verifying that you do indeed have the latest installation, or by repeating all of these previous steps. Now that you're up and running, let's navigate back to the Example Circuits folder and check out a specific example. First, open the Half Bridge folder and then open the syncbuck-hb.asc simulation file. Go ahead and delete the module outline and text. Press the component button, or F2, and place one of the half-bridge models into the circuit. Next, 
press the run button. Here, we can plot the output voltage by simply clicking on the VO net. We can also look at the other quantities such as the output current of the V- node. Just hover over the node and click when you see the cursor change into a loop. Now let's add a new plot plane and view the junction temperature of the primary active switch. We can do this by clicking on the TJQ1 node. While the waveform here will be in units of volts, this is also analogous to degrees Celsius. As you can see in this particular example, there's a rise in temperature from 25 to 35 degrees Celsius. Now, let's go over to our adjustable variables on the left and make some changes. We can decrease the load resistance to a one ohm increase of the output power and increase the gate resistance RG to 10 ohms to increase the switching losses. Now, when we run the simulation again, we see the junction temperature has jumped from 25 degrees Celsius to over 120 degrees Celsius under these conditions. The ability to change parameters and observe changes in waveforms is what makes LTSPICE so useful. That was a quick high-level overview of how to use LTSPICE. If you still have questions, you can join our Wolf Speed Power Applications Forum. To do that, just visit forum.wolfspeed.com.